morning, Wolfpack. I'm Audra Fallen. And I'm Sonny Wetzel. Today is Tuesday, January 6th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Art Club will be meeting after school tomorrow to set up for Arts Alive. Seniors, Financial Aid Night will take place tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. in the MP room. Make sure to bring your parents and any questions. For any student interested in playing football next year, there will be an informational meeting at both lunches tomorrow in HE3. Your name and contact information will be collected and you will discuss the off-season football program. If you are unable to attend this meeting, see Coach Milgram. Now let's pass it on over to John and Jody for your in the news announcements. Good morning, Wolfback. I'm John Timmons. And I'm Jody Guerrero, and we're here with your in the news update. Professor Laricia Hawkins caused a stir last month at Wheaton College, the Christian school she's a political science instructor at. The controversy arose when Professor Hawkins donned a hijab, an Islamic female head covering, last month as a statement of solidarity, solidarity with recently persecuted Muslims due to the backlash of extremist terrorist attacks. She also posted on Facebook, quote, I stand in solidarity with Muslims because they, like me, a Christian, are people of the book. And as Pope Francis said last week, we worship the same God, end quote. In response, the Illinois College issued a notice of recommendation to initiate termination for cause proceedings, citing that she violated their, quote, evangelical statement of faith. The head professor of the college has claimed, however, that they do not restrict free exercise of all faiths. Professor Hawkins has, placed on has been placed on administrative leave as of December 15th, and there have been no updates so far as whether this is a temporary suspension or a permanent termination. North Korea's recent claims that it successfully tested its first hydrogen bomb have been widely condemned throughout the world community. The North Korean capital Pyongyang and their leader Kim Jong-un have been very vocal, both internally and externally. The country's nuclear arms program. Up until now, they've only used plutonium weapons, so the alleged testing of a hydrogen weapon raises the stakes in the issue. Norsar, which is a Norway-based group that monitors worldwide nuclear tests, have, note, have noted that based on the seismic readings, concluded that they showed evidence of a blast less than 10,000 tons of TNT, which is considerably